Well, traders, that was a roller coaster today, uh, for my account anyway. When I was talking about the market today, well, the result is clear here. You can see I'm up $115,000. There were times today where I was down, I don't know, 60, maybe more than that. I'm not sure. Take a look at the S&P 500. Uh, the whole thing is the S&P 500. As I often mention when, uh, when I trade, it's really just the S&P 500. I was expecting the market, uh, because it gapped down today, I was expecting the market to move higher and then cr crash down. At that point, I had several losers. That point where it moved higher and moved over the highs, that was my worst position ever. I had my stops. I was thrown out of several trades. You can see some very big losers here, like Beyond, uh, Roku, PayPal. Uh, I had more. Um, Boeing was down, which is my best winner today, $129,000, but it was down dramatically. And then I had my stops. I just moved away from my screens. I had to move away from my screens. Otherwise, I probably would have made some mistakes. I just had my stops. And then I opened another short in Tesla. Tesla was at the time down like 40 grand, finished up $20,000. That's because I had two trades in Tesla. So the end result was green in Tesla. But uh, if you take a look at all of my trades, just the, the, the ones that you see here were just recently opened when we opened them together a few minutes ago. JP Morgan, AXP, when the market was just looking for a new low. Uh, MAR just finished in slightly in green, uh, not a big mover. That was quite a mistake to take this one today, I guess. But I had some beautiful winners, um, and the end result is, of course, amazing. The whole thing is that I expected the market to gap and go today. The market did gap and go, but a bit later. So I knew I should come later. I knew I should visit uh, the market a bit later. I knew that there's a chance that the market will come down under the lows. I mentioned earlier that I'm going to come in like an hour, but... The fact is I came in 30 minutes ago and I saw the market uh, getting close to the lows and then finally moving under the lows. So uh, the end result, of course, we came down under the lows as expected, as I was expecting, as I was hoping. And that's why I finished in green. So my game plan for today, not only for today, for the week. I mentioned that uh, when we started out this week, I mentioned that uh, I do not expect the market to continue with the trend of last week. I do not expect the momentum to work out as it did last week and on uh, the beginning of this week too. I expected the market to fail. I'm not sure I'm right so far. I mean, there's still uh, a long uh, way to tell. Uh, we had a very strong uh, upside uh, week uh, last week. Let's take a look at uh, at uh, the daily chart here of the S&P 500. So you can see that uh, we had uh, a strong move up recently. That's the daily chart, and now we're coming down. So I will only be right if we're finally going to move down under the lows to a new low. As I mentioned uh, uh, on Monday this week, as I mentioned on Monday this week, um, usually when there are crashes like this one, like was in 2008 and, and, and other, uh, it usually does not end in just one big uh, crash. It usually comes to the point where everybody believes they should go long. Uh, I believe there's a lot of friends uh, that are asking you right now, uh, should we buy stocks? Should we go long? Should we start to open a brokerage account just to go long? There's so many people right now looking for, uh, asking me, what should I buy? Uh, should I buy oil? Should I buy this? Should I buy that? I mentioned uh, to everybody I know that, in my opinion, uh, market is usually looking for a new low before is uh, recovering. So after a crash we've seen recently, we usually should be looking for a new low. That was my game plan for the week. And then for today, since we started with a gap down, with a big gap down, it was a gap and go. Sadly, that didn't work out immediately, but it did work out later. So I'm glad I followed my game plan. And the end result is, as you can see, so that's a very nice uh, day. Uh, so s some huge winners like Boeing, um, smaller winners, but the end result is great. So... Um, I can see that some of you guys are also doing well for today, so that's great. I love it. Uh, thank you guys for being here with me today. Uh, and I'm, I'm really glad finally it worked out. So thank you all. Thank you guys on YouTube for following. If you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be appreciated. And I'll see you all tomorrow.
Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.